Hey, 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 it's Grips, and as always, uh, you know the drill. Okay, so we're doing the snow effect, so let's do that. So go in and choose a solid background color, or whatever it is that you're using, it really doesn't matter. I'm just using this. I'm gonna change it to the same as you saw in the preview, and then I'm gonna create my text. So whatever video you wanna put in there, that's up to you. Okay, all right, so I've already typed in my text, now, first off, we cannot use black, and I'll, sh I'll show you later on why not. Uh, so we're gonna change this to, I don't know, let's just keep it simple, white, and expand that nice and big and center it. Okay, I'll, bear with me, I'll show you why you can't use black, but how you can use black. Confusing, good, all right. So we have to apply the Boris filter yet again, but the good news is this is not a masking tutorial. If you've been following me, you've noticed I've done quite a lot of masking tutorials lately. All right, so double click onto your text track. Uh, you need to then go from the edit to the attribute tab. So here it is. So uh, just to stop some confusion with some folks I have, if you want to apply an effect to it and it works, you can do that. So you can easily, you know, have the, the letters going all over the place. That's and it still will work. Let's just go all right back to the beginning. All right, if you want to work in the animation, you highlight animation, check the apply, and then do whatever you need to do. If you don't want the animation, you use the filter. Now, the thing is where some people get confused is, if I go back to animation, it doesn't mean I turn off the filter. It just means I'm working in this box with the animation. If I go into the filter and highlight that, it allows me to work in this box. The only way it stops working if I actually remove it, all right? So do not think that just because your animation's on, Boris no longer works, that is not true. But anyway, here we're in the filter, I've highlighted, so thereby I can then access the customs filter, advanced mode, and here we are. So I'm gonna delete this text track because it's of no use. Now the reason you can't use black because the Boris does everything in a matte, so the black is also a matte, so it cannot see it and it cannot, because this basically, just because you see this text, Boris sees this as an object, okay? So we can't use black, but I will show you a dirty little trick that I learned. So go into filters, go to generators, snow. So here we are, and the snow immediately applies, so you can really see what's happening. And I'll give you a really quick run through of what you should mainly concentrate on. If you go into the BCC snow, work on these four here. I say the show amount, so obviously that just speaks for itself how much snow you want. Snow angle, which side does it come into? The snow speed, how quickly it drops. And the show depth, so in other words, like, a, like in a Z plane, how much in the back, how much is in the front. You want to go into snowflakes. You can also do here, uh, like change the shape and the size once again. But I tell you, just stay in the system. Work in BCC Snow, the first four, and the system. So lifespan really speaks for itself. So if you want a lot of snow to sit on your words, but snow melts, yes, it's a generator, but it tries to be as realistic as possible. You want more lifespan, therefore more snow will sit on your text and so forth. Uh, generating width, uh, the width, speed variance, and the direction variance. So where is the snow coming from? It could, is it coming from left and right? Do you want both and so forth? So these are the, these are the little sets that you wanna work with. And then lastly, you go into interaction, and this is where all the magic happens, okay? You check here, you stick to layer, and now you'll see that it's hugging all at the top, and then what we need to do, because it's still in the alpha, alpha mode, we need to go into the Luma mode, okay? And now you can see that it sticks nicely to the top of my letters. All right, there's a couple more things in here that sh I will show you. Fall through percent, so okay, so snow's falling, but obviously there's gaps between the text. Do you wish snow to fall through that as well? And you go, yes, of course. Then you can increase the rate or the percentage of the snow falling through the text, right? Now, if you want it to stick to the ground once it lands, you highlight stick to the ground, and then you can see that it just stays on the ground. And if you want to move the, the ground up or down, what you do is you go view ground, and you'll see the grid here. So this basically is a reflection map. So if you were using, say, the rain filter, because it does the exact same thing, you would see rain come down and then bounce back off. So it like hits the ground, and that's a really cool effect. 
and you can also move this up or down and we'll just leave it at default and that's it realistically you've basically done you press apply and voila all right, so I've left the uh, view ground on, so I've got to get rid of that. And as you can see, it's still sitting a little bit high. So let's just quickly take care of that. Go back into Boris, Customize, Advanced. And uh, I'm going to drop this down, 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 down. Now, just because it reaches 250, it doesn't mean that's the limit. I can easily change it to, say, 255 manually. All right? It'll still work. And I'm going to uncheck the view, and I'm going to press apply again. All right, I'll probably drop it down too low now. Oh, no, it's okay. You can see it's just sticking at the bottom. Yep, that looks okay to me. All right, so you can see all the snow. But, you know, black does work better. So what I had to do with black, it was a little bit of a cheat. So I'm going to delete this filter here, the Boris. I'm going to highlight my text again. I'm going to go back into the Edit tab, change it to black, okay, and then I'm going to reapply the filter. And this is only if you want to use black, okay. So reapply, same steps, go back into the Attribute, Highlight Filter, allows me to get into Customs, Advanced Mode, but here's your problem, black and black, therefore you can't see the letters, so it becomes more of a guessing game. But it does work. Filter, BCC Snow is the last one I used. Interaction, bam. And you'll see that it's still sticking to the wall. Now, even if I change the Luma, uh, the letters don't appear. But it, it doesn't really matter because it's, it does work. So press Apply. Oh, sorry. That's the part that I forgot to mention why this is a bit of a hack. Uh, even if I change to Luma, you can't see the text. But if you change to Luma, then Boris can't see the object. So I've got to remain in alpha. And it's, it's just realistically, I'm guessing of how it's going to work. But if I press the apply mode, you can see that it does work. So that's the, the only thing that I have to set everything up and kind of estimate you know, where the snow is going to fall, how much it's going to go through the letters. And again, it, this is just if you really have to absolutely use black. <laughs> All right, and that's not uh, get carried away. But it doesn't have to be text. It could be anything. Let's uh, grab Santa Claus. Santa Claus, bring on him in. So again, press the uh, filter, bring it on, and edit this time. So, did I apply it? Yeah. Sorry, add, yeah, edit. I was getting a bit confused then. Advance. You, you don't really need to follow me on this because I'm just showing you just another neat way of adding it. Interaction. Um, Want to use Luma? Fine, but I wouldn't. I would just stay in Alpha because the object is apparent. Press Apply and Bingo. And it works. There you go. Isn't that nice? So there you go, my friends. If you absolutely have to use black, do what I did at the end. Otherwise, just stick with white or every other color, and it works beautiful. And as always, thanks for watching.